Hi, my name is Project Martin. Welcome to UK Tip of the Day. And today's Tip of the Day comes from the Championship. It's a game at the Reebok between Bolton and Burton Albion. And this tip has been provided by Jose Simoes. And they've got a 77% hit rate for Bolton games with a 29.5% yield as well. Both teams are at the wrong end of the table, in all honesty, but Bolton are actually picking up some form after a very, very poor start. They've won three, drawn two of the last five at home. Whereas Burton, well, they're, they're terrible away from home at the moment, just one win away all season, and actually just one win in the last 13. So that's it for this one. Bolton to win at home against Burton at odds at 2.04. Now, I normally have a trouble for you. Uh, I've actually got a fourfold for you this weekend. We've got Wigan to win away at AFC Wimbledon 2 at 1.87. Now, Wigan at top, absolutely flying. Four wins and a draw in their last five. Whereas AFC Wimbledon, um, completely different story. Right at the bottom, uh, towards the bottom of the table. Just two wins at home all season. In League 2 for the next one, it's Wickham to win at home against Chesterfield at odds of 1.77. Wickham, 1-4 drawn 2 of the last 6 at home. It's doing pretty well there, whereas Chesterfield... No wins away in the last five, so we can see this going Wickham's way. And the fourth and final one, we've got Notts County to win at home against Grimsby at odds of 1.89. And Notts County absolutely flying at home. 1-9, drawn two of the last 11. Um, and yeah, we, we just think that Notts County going to have too much for Grimsby here. That coupon comes in at a tasty 12.20. Well worth getting involved in that. For more great tips from England and Scotland, as well as betting previews, strategy videos, and podcasts a few times a week, subscribe to our YouTube channel. They're losing to, you know, your PSGs, your Monaco's, but they're not going to define your season. 
Um, if you want to stay in that league, you, you need to, well, of any league really, you need to beat the teams in and around you towards the bottom. And Lille fall in that category. Um, so the last three home games, the wins have come against 17th place Trois, 14th place Bordeaux, and 16th place Toulouse. Um, so they've got good cracking wins there. And yeah, they could actually go 7th um, with a victory over Lille if results go their way. So, from their perspective, they're having a cracking season because a lot of them, uh, a lot of the pundits have written them off towards the start of the season, um, suggesting that they'll be fighting for relegation, but they're not quite yet yet, and like I say, a win for Dijon against Lille, and they'll be, well, exceeding expectations, I'd say. Whereas Lille, um, they're currently sitting 18th in Ligue 1, and they're in a bit of a financial mess. Uh, mess, mess. And Lille, well, they're, they're sitting 18th at the moment, um, they're having a terrible, terrible season, but I can't help think that that's due to the stuff that's going off, you know, the stuff that's going off, come on. Um... And Lille, they sit 18th at the minute, and they're not having a great season either. Um, sort of, sort of, oh God, come on. And Lille, they're sitting 18th at the minute, they're not having a great season whatsoever. Um, although they did get an away win at Lyon not too long ago, um, which you would have hoped would build a bit of confidence. However, it's what's going on off the field, which could well be having an effect on the field. And truth be told, they're in a complete financial mess at the moment. And they've just been banned from buying buying anyone in January, tra- January transfer window, so they can't strengthen there. And, yeah, it kind of just turns out that the guy that took over the club in January doesn't have the finances in place that he said he did. And they're spending way more than they're bringing in. And if you read the news at a minute, it looks as though... Lille could well be, regardless of what happens on the pitch this season, could well be demoted to, to, to League 2, uh, League 2. Um, so I'll see how that one goes. And that can't be having a good effect on the pitch. You know, the players must be affected by that. Um, and yeah, I mentioned that they got a crack and win away at Lille. Um, oh, and yeah, I mentioned that I did get a decent win away at Lyon uh, not too long ago. However, I only won two in the last ten um, away from home. And yeah, they've got problems. There's no denying that. And I just think Dijon at 2.27 a cracking value. So that's what I've gone with here. <coughs> and on Sunday, um, I'm over to Italy uh, a little bit. Sorry. And on Sunday, I've uh, gone over to Italy for this one, it's Serie A. It's the game between Atalanta and Lazio. And it's quite difficult to pick a result in this one, to be honest, looking at the stats. So I've gone for goals in this, over two and a half goals. And that's coming in at a, a reasonable 1.72. Um, God, I've written that. Scribbled that. I can't even read it. And that's coming in at a reasonable 1.72. Um, this fixture last season, um, only 4-3 to Lazio actually, so there's plenty of goals in that one. And, and what? And three of the last four meetings have indeed seen over two and a half goals, which is probably why the price is as it is, but it's certainly worth jumping on in my opinion. <clears throat> Lazio have found score just once in the last 29 games. 
Uh, whereas Atalanta have failed to score just once in the last 22 games. So I think we can safely say that there will be goals in this. And let's not forget that Lazio are, in fact, the second highest scorers actually in Serie A are behind Juventus. Um, so, you know, of late they've been banging in the goals for fun. Um, but Atalanta at home are pretty formidable. They've won nine and drawn two of their last 11 at home. So that's how I'll be going there. Obviously, they're doing okay at the minute. Um, but so are Atalanta. They'll be going, you know, into this game full of confidence. And will they cancel each other out? I think there'll be goals. Don't get me wrong, there'll be goals. But I can't pick a winner. It could well be a two or draw or something like that, to be honest. Um, it's very, very difficult to, to see Atalanta losing the game. And there's only been actually one draw in the last 19 meetings between the two sides. So, you know, it's due a draw. Um, so two all would, would see the other two and a half come in quite comfortably. Um, so that's one going for here. <clears throat> Where can you find me on social media? You can find me on Twitter. I currently run the Pro Tips to EN accounts on Twitter. I've also got my personal and where can you find me on social media? You can find me on Twitter. I run the Pro Tips to EN accounts. Um, follow us there for uh, plenty of fun and frolics over the week. And I've got my own Pro Tips to Martin Twitter account as well. Uh, that's at Pro Tips to M. Give me a follow there. And also on Facebook at Pro Tips to Martin. Three separate words. Do it. Um, yeah, that do. Dan's Dan's ended it off with a decent enough thing. <clears throat> 